I I am in this video we will discuss some additional question on week one assignment portion first question answer the following statement That's true or false so first statement the rechargeable battery was let the sit first uh, statement was right Re first rechargeable battery was let the sit second statement specify energy determine the acceleration rate so specific energy not related to acceleration rate so this is wrong and third statement some evs need manual tracking so this is also wrong correct answer for this particular question is option fourth option true false and true second question and so we need to check whether these statements are true or false so first statement ic engine is highly efficient device ic engine is a highly efficient device so this statement is wrong highly not highly efficient second statement b statement hydrogen has higher energy density than petrol hydrogen has higher energy density than petrol so this statement is correct and third c statement cng has lower specific energy than petrol so this statement also wrong cng has higher specific energy than petrol so the correct answer for this particular option for this particular question is false true and false that is option 2 now move on to third question so of statement a in bv around 70 percentage of source of energy reaches the vehicle so first statement is correct in battery electric vehicle around 70 percentage of source reaches the wheel and second statement b statement bhev can run on liquid fuel so this is also correct BHAV can run on liquid fuel and statement C ultra capacitor have higher specific energy so this statement is wrong ultra capacitor have lower specific energy so now the correct option for this particular question is true true and false option one the correct answer for this particular question uh, then question number four so statement a power of isg in micro hev is around 500 watts so this statement is wrong and second state uh, b statement full hybrid ev can operate with ic alone so this one is correct full hybrid ev can operate with ic alone statement was correct and C statement mild EV also use EVT that is electric variable transmission device this statement also wrong. so correct option for this particular question is option 4 false true and false and fifth question statement A higher power ICE is required by range extended EV wrong and statement B individual EV V2G action is inefficient so the particular statement is correct individual EV V2G action is inefficient and statement C VHEV operate in blended mode 
So this is correct. BHV operate in blended mode. The correct option for this particular question is false true true. That is option 3. False true true. And move on to sixth question. So statement A. Parallel HEV require only one power converter. So this statement is correct. Ultra flywheel is a mechanical device. So yes, this statement also correct. And third statement, C statement, fast charging require we have very less power charging source. So this statement is top. So correct answer for this particular question is true, true and false. That is option one. Then move on to seventh question. So statement A. BEV can operate without clutch and gear. So first statement is correct. That is true. Then statement B. V2H and V2B are unidirectional. So this statement is true. And third C statement. Spinning reserve are almost dormant system. So this statement also correct. So correct answer for this particular question is option 1, true, false and true. Then move on to 8th question. V2G increase the problem of reactive power compensation. V2G increase the problem of reactive power compensation. This statement is wrong. And statement B. Diesel is denser than petrol. So this statement is correct. And the statement C. Continuous variable transmission CVT is there in series parallel HEV. So this statement also correct. So correct answer for this particular question is false. True true. That is third option. False true true. Then move on to ninth question. So, statement A, induction machine has decoupled flux and torque axis. So, this one is correct. And the statement B, fuel cell support. So, sorry, sorry, one minute. So, induction machine has decoupled flux and torque axis. So, this particular statement is wrong. And the fuel cell support both charging and discharging. So, this statement also wrong and th third statement dual clutch transmission is not there in conventional series HEV so this statement is correct so now correct answer for this particular question is false false true that is option one go on to tenth question statement a trickle charging happen Whenever the battery starts charging, so first statement is off. And Pragon plots are used for performance comparison of E. So this is also wrong. Performance comparison of EV, this is also wrong. Third one, the SRM is a salient pole machine. So this statement is correct. So correct answer for this particular question is second option. False, false and true. Move on to 11th question. Match the following. Mechanical battery. Mechanical battery. Ultra capacitance here. Mechanical battery. And second one. Safety concern. Lithium ion. Safety concern is lithium ion. And the third one, high specific energy is fuel cell. High specific energy. Then high specific power. I'm saying I will tell. Mechanical battery. Mechanical battery. Uh, 
this is a air and zinc is a mechanical battery okay. then safety concern is for lithium ion this is b and high specific energy density that is fuel cell so that is c and higher specific power is ultra capacitor so the correct answer for this particular question is third option move on, move on to 12th question again match the following so bound rotor induction machine high power density at high speed so this is the answer fourth one and dc motor dc motor inherently allow orthogonal control of flex and torque so this is b and the srm and the srm salient machine salient pole machine that is c sm pmsm is non salient c that is d so correct answer for this particular question is option 4 we move on to 13th question match the following higher rating motor higher rating motor is range extended ev higher higher rating ic engine is mild hev that is option b and energy source can be uh, can store regenerated energy energy source can store regenerated energy is nothing but battery ev bev and energy source cannot store regenerated energy is nothing but fuel cell ev correct answer is option 2 then 14 so normal charging a single phase normal charging and opportunity charging is three phase and the fast charging is dc and the 15th question trickle charging is keep the battery in charge condition constant current charging is nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride and the constant voltage is vr la battery and the correct answer for this particular question is option three then move on to 16th question uh, charging is faster when 80 percent of charge is battery is charged this is wrong and power aggregator degrees the efficiency of the power transfer this is also wrong vibration energy can be stored used to store the battery so this is right v2g help in reactive power compensation of the grid so this is also correct so the correct answer for this particular question is option one 17th question ultra capacitor don't have a high life so this is wrong and solid oxide fuel cell use platinum catalyst this is also wrong and coordinator charging is done during peak load demand so this is also wrong capacity transfer is not affected by emi problem this is correct so correct answer for this particular question is option three all the best for your today final exam thank you